Visma World Cup four-man bobsleigh season. It opened up on the Olympic track in Calgary. Yeah, the United States, Steve Holcomb, Kirk Thomas Seven, Steve Langton, and Chris Folk blasted off the top of the Calgary track. They had the best time in the first run, and in the second run, they also had a great start, great downtime, and they win the inaugural first event of the 2013-14 Olympic season. Max Arndt of Germany second, Alexander Zukov in third. Team Night Train celebrates the first event of the season. Now they move to the 2002 Olympic track south of Calgary into Park City. And it was Team Night Train, Steve Holcomb again, dead heat at the end of the first team. Three different teams were tied for the lead. Max Hart and Kazanov of Russia, but Holcomb pulls away in the second run, and he wins convincingly in Park City. Max Hart of Germany again in second. Kazanov in Russia is third. Now the tour moves 2,000 miles east to the Olympic city of Lake Placid, New York. And it was team Stephen Holcomb and his night train to again for the third and second race. Holcomb had won the world championships in 2009 and 12 on this course. And he shows the rest of the world he is three for three. But look at John Jackson of Great Britain. He had a silver medal, the first medal since 1998 Olympic Games in Nagano. After the Christmas break, they move for two events in Winterberg, Germany. And as expected, the Germans, in front of a large German crowd, Max Hart, drives with both great runs. And the world champion from 2013, he earns his first gold medal of the season for Germany. Team Maximilian Hart, they're the leaders. Francisco Friedrich in second, Alexander Zubkov in third for Russia. The second World Cup in Winterberg. No surprise, the same team again, Team Maximilian Art. The second day in a row, the German crowd had a lot to cheer about. Art, perfect, all the way down the track. Big speeds in the finish, crosses the finish line. And Ja Bullmeister from Christoph Langen. And Maximilian Arndt wins his second consecutive event in the World Cup standings. Holcomb crashed in the first event. So Holcomb falls all the way to ninth. But Team Max Arndt, Friedrich in second, floor shoots in third. It was a German sweep in Winterberg. Now they move to the famous track in Saint Moritz, Switzerland. It's where the sport was born over 100 years ago. And on this day, Team Oscars Mel Bardis, the young Latvian team, shows it was no fluke when they won. Last year in Sochi at the pre-Olympic test, they win here today in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Track record at the bottom, and this young Latvian pilot making a statement, Zubkov in second, Max Arndt of Germany in third. And Latvia walks away with the four-man bob, and Arndt, though, is the World Cup leader heading into the last two events as Mel Bardis celebrates. Now they move just a couple hours away to the Tyrolean city of Eagles above the city of Innsbruck. And no surprise, it's Oscars Mel Bardis again. Track records at the start, at the finish, and for the second week in a row, Mel Bardis wins. Stephen Holcomb, the United States, rebounds for second. Thomas Florschett wins his second medal of the season. And now we move to the final stop of the eight World Cup Tour events in Koenigsee, Germany. Team Night Train, Stephen Holcomb, Kurt Tomasiewicz, Chris Fote, and Steve Langton. Best times in the first run. The second run, Bad Hefty was in the bottom. In the leader's box, and Holcomb holds on. He posts the second best time of the run. It's good enough to win. And Holcomb wins his fourth race of eight for the season. Hefty is in second. Hefty has a double weekend of European Championship gold medals for him. And Linden, Russia, Canada wins for the second consecutive day by a hundredth of a second of bronze medal. Max Hart wins the World Cup title over Holcomb. It's been a great season for four-man bobsled. For FIBT Television, I'm John Moore.